Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned, Falk partners with Kitty Hawk on emergency response aircraft. Also, drone film festival scheduled for March and gun deal. Our environment completes acquisition of Arcturus UAV. Welcome to Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned program, a weekly program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Hi, I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We have a packed episode today filled with the latest news, so let's start with Falk partners with Kitty Hawk on emergency response aircraft. Emergency response and healthcare company Falk has announced a collaboration with Kitty Hawk. The companies will establish a joint innovation platform creating a framework for Project Heaviside, Kitty Hawk's latest high performance aircraft to be used in emergency response operations. The collaboration adds to Falk's drone initiatives. Vertical, which aims to assess the potential of drone technology in the pre hospital and ambulance service of the future. With Kitty Hawk's Project Heaviside, the company plans to test and evaluate new technologies on a large scale, making emergency healthcare more accessible and affordable. Project Heaviside is designed to be fast, small, and exceedingly quiet. Kitty Hawk has built 13 prototypes of the EVTOL aircraft and has completed over 700 test flights. The priority of the new partnership is to develop a framework for the integration of Heaviside into emergency services. This will enable EVTOL aircraft to be an addition to Falk services, increasing flexibility and reduce emergency response time, and overall contribute to Falk's continuous development of their services within the pre-hospital and ambulance area. Falk expects to introduce Heaviside in a close collaboration with customers in Denmark, Europe, followed by the United States. After these messages, Embry-Riddle celebrates electric aero milestone. More news after the break. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Swift Fuels proudly introduces the Forever Avgas STC. One simple upfront purchase entitles the Forever STC certificate holder to receive all current and future Avgas STCs that the FAA issues to Swift Fuels. The best part? It's priced today at only $100, and the prepaid certificate never expires. Get your Forever Avgas STC today at swiftfuelsavgas.com. Welcome back. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. Embry-Riddle celebrates electric aero milestone. After nearly four years of perseverance, the Embry-Riddle's Eagle Flight Research Center team is celebrating a milestone in its electric propulsion research. Its Diamond HK-36 completed a successful taxi test exclusively on electrical power. Dubbed the E-Spirit of St. Louis, in honor of Charles Lindbergh's notion of balance between aviation and the environment, the aircraft serves as a testbed for students to gain experience on the interdisciplinary aspects of mixing electrical engineering skills with aerospace engineering. Collier Trophy nominees comprise exceptional group. The National Aeronautical Association announced that seven aviation and space achievements will compete for the 2020 Collier Trophy, some of whom have names very familiar to the unmanned community. Commissioned in 1910 by aviator, humanitarian, and sportsman Robert J. Collier with the intent to encourage the American aviation community to strive for excellence in aeronautic development, the Collier Trophy has served as a benchmark of aerospace achievement for over a century. Air Race E expands to include new electric race classes. 
An all electric Air Race Group, Air Race E, is adding classes to reflect the technologies under development by the autonomous and UAV communities. The move to amplify its operations and create more races is reportedly the direct result of high levels of interest and demand from across the industry. The new electric VTOL class will be named the V Class. VTOLs, often called flying cars, are a different category of aircraft altogether and at the forefront of electric technology in aerospace. Hydrogen-powered UAV propulsion system begins testing. Through a cooperative agreement, Northwest UAV and NRL have successfully completed a hydrogen fuel cell prototype designed specifically for the higher power to weight ratio and harsh operational requirements of unmanned systems. After a successful first operational test, NWUAV and NRL plan further developments to their hydrogen fuel cell prototype with a test flight slated for later this year. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Drone Film Festival scheduled for March. A new film festival highlighting creative content made by Aero filmmakers is set to debut in Southern California this March. The inaugural Southern California Drone Film Festival is set for March 6 and marks the only event of its kind in California. The one-day virtual event will include panels of drone technology, cinematography, and video production and will culminate with the award ceremony highlighting shorts from creative storytellers. The festival is the brainchild of Southern California native Jay Seidel, a Fullerton College professor and head of the Fullerton Drone Lab. There is so much great visual content being created with drones, he said. I wanted to find a way to showcase it all here in Southern California so people could enjoy it and we can recognize the efforts from these innovative filmmakers. As with most public events, the festival will be held remotely in a virtual environment, in addition to showcasing the finalists and announcing the winners of the 14 categories. The film festival will provide videos of interviews with filmmakers, photographers, journalists, drone specialists, drone professionals, and more. There will also be some training videos as as well as a new exclusive screening of a new documentary on the first person view drone craze. After the break, Aerovironment has completed its acquisition of Articus UAV Inc. Details after these messages. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working and you're going to hear more about it. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. It's a done deal. AeroEnvironment completes acquisition of Arcturus UAV. AeroEnvironment has completed its acquisition of Arcturus UAV. Approximately $405 million transaction was previously announced in January 13th. The United States Special Operations Command selected Arcturus UAV as one of six companies qualified for the potential $975 million indefinite delivery, indefinite quantity, 
ME UAS IV contract in June 2020. The contract enables awardees to compete for site specific task orders and provide the USS SOCOM with unmanned aircraft system services and support for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance operations. Arcturus UAV V employs its VTOL Jump 20 in support of USS COM operations, minimalizing the logistical footprint of UAS operations while delivering multi payload, multi mission capabilities. Arcturus UAV, also one of four ORD selected for funded development and demonstration supporting the U.S. Army's FTUAS program, a potential billion dollar and next generation UAS program, like AeroVironment. Arcturus UAV, team is laser focused on supporting its customers around the world with the most reliable and effective products and services for their missions, said President and Chief Executive Officer Wahid. Noabi. Aerovironment completed the acquisition of Arcturus UAV on February 19th of this year, resulting in Arcturus UAV becoming a wholly owned subsidiary operating under the Aerovironment brand. Well, that does it for our show today. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. You can also catch us on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne in the directory. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next time.